well written though, I'm not gonna yeah, lie. I like the concept. There was like a lot of things that you wouldn't expect to happen that happened. The different perspectives. The mother's side of things and the daughter's side of things. Uh, the different opinions about purity. Catholic Christian thing, could you guys relate to that? It's like the same rules like about how you're not supposed to have sex before marriage and stuff like that. And like my mom is like, obviously really strict on that, wherever it's from Muslim. Your parents wouldn't want you doing that stuff at that kind of age. Maybe that that I related to, but not really so much of like a religion. That's just something that's really relatable. That's like something that you're always like scolded on as you're growing up, like never to do that. Are you avoiding answering the question? Yes. Mm. <laughs> kind of like the romance in it between the two characters. We're at that age where like that topic is relevant. I mostly like how the girl wrote it. Like she's like young like us. I See, I thought she would be grandma old. Wait, Unless she has a lot of Botox, but like I can't. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's one of Crystal's students, not one of mine. <laughs> Things can happen at any point, and you gotta respect the other's choices. You want to do what's best for like you, for your parents, and like you want to respect everyone around you. And I like how we had that connection. It's authentic. It didn't end with like, oh, I love you, mom. I'm so sorry. I will follow Jesus. I like the ending. You know, it was really ambiguous. You could interpret it in many ways. It was left open-ended, so you can kind of make your own ending for it. When the mother character goes on and she addresses the audience, right, and she says, mothers and daughters, when you're a male sitting in the audience, how does that make you feel? Uh, it makes me feel like as if the mom is talking to me as well. Like as if I was, even as if I was the male, she's talking to the male as well. So uh, I just, instead of her saying female about talking about girls, I think of it as a male and take it to my responsibility. Even though they were reading, you could create like mental sensations in your head, like what was going on. They put their emotions into play, you could tell when they're crying, sad, happy. The reading was so good. It had, it, like there was a lot of enthusiasm and it felt like we were watching the movie. Because you could you also use your imagination with their voices. Like she was trying to find her true self. She chose herself in the end instead of the guy or the mom, she chose herself. It was real and she like just went with herself. It was really good. I got to find out um, what they do after high school and stuff. What I learned about hot scenes is that you really gotta like really be prepared and really be in character. I tried to relate it to my own life and how it affects me and my opinions. You have to really be listening. I can use that for like later on, like the future performances for like I can say use that to stay in character. I learned that improv can take it really far. Cool, you have to like come up with it on the spot. It was really interesting. I was really into it and I really wanted to know more about what would happen next. I really thought that the only type of acting you could really have is either in like big movies. But they're their own type of business and they have to like promote themselves. They have to go out, find auditions, they have to make ends meet. There are many plays that happen in cities, on stages and stuff like live performances and you can still make a living out of it. It's just that I'm more interested in it now than I was before. It's like I see what you actually do. I think you kind of like misinterpret like what it actually is. Theater is like smaller than like movies. 